I recently bought a vending machine for $500 and got the location for it at the same time. What's up guys, it's Jesse here and in today's video I'm going to tell you how I got that location and that vending machine at the same time. Make sure you stick around, I hope you like the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. So right now I'm looking for disinfectant bottles to use so I can clean my vending machine. I was told that we have to go further, so let's find out. We're here at our local Walmart getting all the supplies we need to clean the machine first before filling it. And here we go, I think we found them. This is a good one right here because the price is only $1.98, so it's not too bad. All I need is really just one so I can put all the soapy water in it because from what I heard, we need soapy water. We need soapy water to disinfect it really cleaned up i also am going to need some window cleaner but we already have that and a couple of washcloths so we'll have to find that later i don't know which one to get my favorite color is green so i think i might get the green we'll go with that along with the spray bottle of course we're going to need some microfiber cloths at three of them to be exact each a different color so we can clean each part of the machine from the interior to the exterior to the parts that the customer touches Along with that, Windex is a must to clean the glass of the machine. All right, and let's fill up that spray bottle with soapy water. So at the beginning of the video, I promised y'all how I would tell y'all how I got the location as well as the machine for only $500 at the same time. Well, originally it was my first location for my mini crane that I got just a couple weeks ago. I talked them into letting me put it there and it's been doing well ever since. The big vending machine though was kind of iffy. And as you can see, we got the soapy water good. We got our fiber cloths as well as our Windex ready to go. We just need to get a few more things and we were out the door. Each one of those cloths has a separate purpose. The blue one is for the external of the machine. Green is for the interior and yellow is for the windows to make sure we do the separately so we do not get each other mixed up. Along with that, I have my vacuum to make sure we clean the inside and clear of debris. Okay, so now we're at our location right now where we have not only our crane machine, but we also have our new vending machine that's gonna go up. We're here to clean it. We have all our supplies. You can see right there in the back, we have all our supplies right here in the back. Sorry, my thumb's in the way. There, we have all our supplies in the back. So we're gonna go in, clean up, and then what we're gonna do is set the new prices on. Those prices haven't been adjusted in a good while, so they're all outdated prices from like four years ago. Go from there and get some snacks in and then let's plug it in and see how it does. But first, we got to start off by cleaning. And here it is, guys. This is the vending machine that I have recently purchased from this location. It's the same location where I have my crane machine. As you can see, it works pretty well. Not too bad. The only thing is, as of right now, it's not credit card compatible. That's a problem there, but we can't always upgrade it to make it credit card compatible. So that's kind of a setback, but it's all good. It just costs a little extra money. Of course, like I said, the prices are outdated. We're definitely gonna have to change those up. But from there, everything else is good. And not only that, once we get the keys, cause I have to ask them for the keys first. But once we get the keys, everything can be all good to go and we can start working on the machine. Okay, so we were actually to get the machine open. I got the keys. These keys are officially as of now right mine. So let's go. We open it up and then check mm -hmm. it out. The good thing is there's really not that much to clean. We're gonna clean some good areas right here, but everything actually looks very clean on the inside from the racks to the sides, even to the bottom of it, just some dirt that we have to get rid of. But other than that, everything looks pretty well. Let's start cleaning. I got my gloves on. And then we got all our supplies in here. So let's get right to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is clean the exterior of the machine, more specifically where the customer touches from the keypad to the numbers. And of course, down to where they actually get the snacks. It's very vital we do that, especially since after the pandemic happened, people are more conscientious about their health and making sure that things are healthy and clean. I also wear the gloves too for extra precaution, but in case customers see too, I want them to know that I take care of the machines. Next, we move on to the green cloth, which we're gonna use for the exterior too, and for the outside, but not for where the customer touches, rather just the other areas of the machine, from the top to the sides, to make sure it looks clean and nice. Now, as I was saying, my mini crane was located here originally. I actually know the owner. I've talked to him before. He's the one who gave me the okay for the crane machine. And we were actually going back and forth about whether he wants to sell his vending machine. As you can see right here, the machine looks a lot better. We just have to clean the glass now, which of course is the outside. So that's exactly what we're gonna start doing right now. 
When cleaning the glass of the vending machine, it's important to use Windex, not just any soapy water. Of course, you need something professional like Windex or any other window glass cleaner to make it shiny. All right, and as you can see, it looks a lot better now. We're just gonna put some touch-ups on it, obviously, but it looks a lot cleaner and it'll look even more clean when we get the inside of it. Okay, so let's open it up. Now, as you can see, it does look a little dirty still right here, but we can easily clean that out. It's just the bottom we got to really worry about because it's a little dusty right now, but no problem. We can easily fix that. I just want to say right now that I thought owning a vending machine would be a lot easier. It is not. It is a lot of hard work, and this is just one machine. I can't imagine those were 50. It looks a way a lot better. It looks way better than it did before. Look at that. We even cleaned the bottom of it, which looks a lot better than it was before. We also cleaned right here. We cleaned the mechanisms, and of course, would you look at this? It looks a little better. We still got a little clean to do, but it looks a lot better than before. Okay, so now that the cleaning is done, what we have to do next is we have to change the prices. As you can see, the prices are a little outdated. There's no problem with that. All we have to do is just figure out how to change the price and we are good. We can do that by using this keypad right here and it will show us what prices we are changing. So let's do that. So we ran into a little problem. I'm supposed to press service mode, which I did, but then I couldn't figure out how to find the pricing. I found it out, but I couldn't figure out how to change the pricing until. So I'm trying to change the prices right now. So look at this. I was, I've literally been here trying to do this for like, I don't know how long. You have to go to mode, but I figured out how to do it. You can see the light turns off. And look, I'm a dummy. So pretty much all I did was press four. That's for the price. Let's say A, uh, one. It shows you the price. I'm a dummy. You press this right here. And then that's when it changes. With this new information, I was able to change the prices as you can see right here. I updated the prices to match inflation to make sure I am not losing money and we are not losing money as a company. Now here we are running a test to make sure the new prices work and they do stick, they stay together. Now we just need to replace all the pricing labels and then we should be good to go. Double check and we are good. All right, so we just finished up. The machine looked good, it worked, it was real nice. I don't have any concerns with it at all. So yes, it is definitely a buy for $500 for a machine like that. That's that good with the location involved too. It's too much to pass off. It's way too much to pass off. So I did accept it and I finished for the day, but I will be back tomorrow to film again. And tomorrow we are gonna move that machine up front, front and center right there by the door so everybody can see it. And we are gonna load it up with our snacks. I'll see y'all then. Okay, so we are back now for day two of going to place our new vending machine. When we left off yesterday, we finished changing the prices, cleaning up the machines, all that. Um, today though, now we actually have to move the machine to another part of the store. Not too far, just about 25 feet away. It shouldn't be too bad at all. I have some help with me today so we can get that moving. After that, we're gonna go stop at the store to get all the snacks we need, all the candies we need to fill up that machine and get the sales going. Let's go. All right, so now we're back at the store. This is the next day and we were here to check on the machine. We moved it. As you can see, it is in a new location right there in smack front of the store right there by the door. We were checking to make sure our price is stuck again and they did because of course we had to unplug the outlet and plug it back in. Everything looks great. And now we're gonna add our new price labels, take off the other ones. These are just temporary garage sale labels that we're just gonna keep until we get our permanent labels because they take a couple weeks to come in. Once they come in, we'll rip those off and put new price labels on. But for now, they look nice. We're almost done with this machine, but we just need to get one more thing, the product. All right, so, so far, everything's good. As you saw, I got the new price labels on there. It looks a little steep, but we'll work on it just because you know, inflation, everything, the price has gone up. You know, you gotta make a profit. You gotta make a profit. That's the whole point of being in the business. We moved it. It's right there by the front door. We got everything going on. The customers see it too. They're oogling it, they like it. So we're good now. What we gotta do next is go to the store, get our products, place them, and then we are good to go. Then we can start making sales. 
Okay, now as you guys can see, this is a montage of me going to the store and getting all the product for the new machine. So now I'll take this time to tell you how I was able to land this location as well as getting this machine for only $500. I already had my foot in the door by having the crane machine in there, so I built that connection with the owner. However, he was pretty hesitant about letting me buy the vending machine because he wanted to place it there himself. It took some convincing, but I was able to talk him into letting me buy it after I told him I would give him a commission and that it will take the ease off of his employees and put it onto somebody else so they can focus on running the store. Once he heard me say that it was all game over from there because he was very interested in letting me take the machine and place it fill it restock it while well, he doesn't have to worry about it at all so basically i bought the machine from the location and then place it there myself now as you can see the machine is all filled up it's ready to go until something happened that's right i captured this from facebook i was receiving a fail message that some of my slots were not working i had to take this machine out of order before i even started making any sales so i had to do a test of each and every slot but the problem was they already had the product product in it so each of the product had to be dispensed at a time, but I figured out what I did wrong, thanks to Facebook. What I need to do was press service mode, and then I can check around, I can see and do a motor count. As you can see right there, it says 30. That means that 30 motors out of the 35 are working, which means that five total were not working. I found out which ones those are. It's those five right there, C3, D3, D4, and the other one. We have decided not to use those right now, but we will fix them later on once we get new motors for them so we can make more profit. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.